I feel like June said, I don't have time to play with y'all. Let me leave my person's shoes by the door because I'm not staying long. Hello family and welcome back. It's me Lydia Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it's already time to do my monthly favorites? Like June had another appointment. Like we were just a fill in the gap kind of thing because this month flew by. Is it just me? I feel like this whole year is going by on warp speed. So I want to go ahead and bring you my June favorites. I actually don't have a lot a lot i do have some new things to my collection that i've been trying out this month i got some products that were gifted to me from a lovely skincare brand and i even have a book and a tv show to talk about so if you want to see my june monthly favorites i hope that you'll keep watching hi to my new subscribers welcome to the beauty family and hi to those who keep coming back day after day i truly appreciate each and every one of y'all let's go ahead and get into these june favorites since i don't have a ton of makeup we're going to go ahead and start with that category first and foremost house labs come to the front of the class please because this blush that you gave us this glossy glassy blush it is so fantastic it is nice and lightweight it does have the pigment there but it blends out in such a nice balmy formula it doesn't go on patchy when I put this on over my foundation my foundation does not move which is huge with a product like this and you get a ton in here and it's so nice and compact I have the shade glossy tangelo I have been loving this blush and I don't even put it on in a nice neat way I literally swirl it and then just blend it out either with my finger or a brush and it does uh, it's just gorgeous I really want a pink one like one of their baby doll pink shades that might be my next purchase when I go back to Sephora but these house live blushes are fantastic I waited to get the NYX buttermilk blushes until they were in the store because I really wanted to swatch them for myself I understood that some of them had like a glow or a shimmer and I didn't accidentally want to get one that had any shimmer so I ended up getting the shade butter together and it's a nice baby doll pink it's just the amount of cool tone pink that I have been looking for for summer it does have a teensy bit of a glow but it is so gorgeous it is so gorgeous and they literally feel like butter like the uh, pigment I'm sorry the texture of it is nice and pillowy soft you don't need a lot of these these go on really really heavily so go light when you are applying these and build it up but for ten dollars this NYX blush performs like their high-end sisters I gotta tell you they are pretty fantastic and they have have so many shades but I was looking for one color particularly and I'm glad I waited to get it in the store best ten dollars I've spent in a while it should be no surprise at all that Danessa Myricks has made yet another of my monthly favorites list but this month it is all about the low lighters that she released a couple of months ago I have this shade incognito it's the perfect tan type of coppery shade without being overwhelming it just gives you that nice golden glow and I love these and this is specifically for for those of you who don't like a highlighter that sits on top of your skin, you don't like it to look blingy, this is that glow from within type of look. And with her Upsolite technology that she has in her other yummy skin products, it's going to control... I'm sorry, it's going to smooth out your skin. It's going to help control your oil. So this is perfect to wear over or on top of your makeup. Either way, this glow, especially from this copper shade... We've been locked in all month of June. <laughs> a drugstore mascara that I've been loving is the Maybelline Fireworks Mascara. I believe this is their newest one in their collection. To me, the mascaras are where Maybelline really, really shines. We know their iconic Great Lash is still great to this day. But this one has a nice, rounded, kind of a barrel type of applicator. And for someone like me who has baby lashes and who doesn't particularly love wearing lashes, I can fan my lashes out with this all the way to the end and even run it over the top of my lashes and my lashes literally look like a firework they just really open up and these are not clumpy it doesn't give me any clumps which I hate with my mascara we hate clumpy mascara but this is like eight dollars I found it at Walmart really good next up is my say do bronzer this is my first product from say beauty but I gotta say it won't be my last this is so nice and I love the applicator as well you know I'm a sucker for a nice size doe foot applicator 
This is the shade Stinson. It's the second to the last one because it has a nice warm undertone. When I come back from vacation with my tan and I put this on, you're not going to be able to tell me nothing. The bronzer is bronzing, but it's so nice, lightweight, and gel-like that it just kind of melts into my skin. It doesn't apply streaky, and again, if I already have on my foundation, it doesn't pick up any of that product. I really like this. I really, really like this. The last two things are lip-related, which would be this Warm Teddy. This is MAC Warm Teddy. This is their new formula of their classic matte. This is the MAC Maximal Satin lipsticks they reformulated a bunch of their classic matte lipsticks and warm teddy was one of them i have it on right now it's the perfect nudie pink it gives enough brown like you can add some lip liner or you can go without it you can add some gloss on top and it's not going to take away from the nude shade i really really like this and i love the formula that it doesn't tug on your lips it's still matte it lasts like a matte lipstick but it wears like a comfortable satin lipstick lastly is my topicals lip salve i finally got my hands on this after all the hoopla and i was out of my other lip balm and i was like i'm gonna try this topicals slick salve i don't know what y'all were complaining about this is fantastic it does have a nice consistency to it it's thick without being uncomfortably thick it's sticky without making your lips stick together i don't know how they did that but what i love the most about it is that when i put it on i don't have to keep reapplying lipstick or lip balm or chapstick like i went with my blistex i gotta go in a couple times till my lips feel nice and hydrated i wore this to bed a couple of nights and when i woke up my lips were still soft topicals got it right with this i don't know what all the complaints about but i need another one of these for my purse and one for my home <sighs> for some hair care i forgot how much product it takes to maintain natural hair that's loose you guys know i had my locks for almost two years and i really just had water i would go get my hair retwisted and whatever product she put in that's what it that's just what it was but now with my hair short, I have to keep it washed and conditioned, etc. So I got some sacred. I got a travel size of their Sacred Beauty, the hydration kit. And it has the clarifying shampoo, the hydrating shampoo, and the hydrating deep conditioner. Out of all the three, the clarifying shampoo is the MVP top two for me. And she ain't number two. This shampoo feels like a nice spa treatment every time you use it. My scalp gets so nice and clean i've been working out so i get sweaty in my scalp first but when i wash my hair with this even though it is clarifying it does not strip my hair at all i would definitely buy a full size bottle of this sacred clarifying scalp scrub and shampoo i like the hydrating shampoo but i love this and when you put this with the moisturizing um conditioner my hair is singing it's so nice so shiny but this just gets my scalp so nice and clean i would absolutely buy a full-size bottle of this sacred scalp scrub the kopari sun shield how cute is this this is so cute and compact and this is like a spf stick so you can put it in your purse take it with you especially now when you're outside and it's hot you need to have all over body spf coverage so i got this little sun shield stick from kopari it has some little shimmers in it but it smells so good it's got that vanilla coconutty and when you put it on it's not greasy it has SPF 25, so you put it on your arm, the top was on. It's not greasy, but it kind of gives you a finish like that. A nice little shimmery, summery glow. I like to put this on my shoulders and on my decolletage when I'm wearing my shoulders out. And you can just pop it in your purse. It's so cute, and it's a cute little SPF stick. Perfect for this time of year. I tried two new deodorants. One of them is the new Shea Moisture Even Tone Vitamin C and Niacinamide Deodorant. This is really nice. It's been holding me down. Like I said, I've been doing some really sweaty workouts and I put this on. It's really, really nice. It smells good. It keeps me dry, most importantly. It has a really nice scent to it and normally I don't like scented deodorants at all. I feel like they clash with my perfume but this one works really really well. I've also tried and it doesn't irritate me. I have very sensitive armpits. I will say that it does not irritate me at all and it does have the ingredients that are supposed to help even out and lighten your armpits. I haven't seen that yet but I'm going to keep using it and I'll report back to see if I notice a difference. Next is the Lumi All Over Deodorant. 
this one this is small and inexpensive it's kind of a travel size that i got from target i would get the whole one i don't know what y'all have against whole body deodorant because i sweat in other places other than my armpits and it's hot and I don't know what you're talking about, but sometimes you can sweat and stink in from other places on your body other than your armpits. So what I cannot attest to are the claims that it lasts for 72 hours. In my African-American household, we shower every day, twice a day. So I can't say if this lasts you 72 hours, but what I can say is that it does keep me dry. Your under boob sweat, your thigh sweat, it keeps you dry and smelling fresh. The all over body deodorant, I don't get the the sentiment about hating it maybe it's the 72 hour claims but i wouldn't know about that i know that on the day i wear it it works <laughs> next up i was sent some products from a brand called vanish they reached out to me and sent me some products it was like a five six items in a kit and vanish is a company that specializes in helping treat inflammation due to acne so like acne flare-ups eczema infl inflamed skin and things like that and they sent me a few items but the two i want to highlight is this vanish fighter gel i had a hormonal breakout and this is supposed to be a gel that you can just put on your areas that you're breaking out and it'll calm the redness and inflammation and it did i was like what i felt that pimple coming up and i don't pick my pimples so they tend to get bigger because i don't pick them or anything like that or bust them so they tend to get bigger and they take a while to fade but this one it calmed that redness down and before that pimple can get inflamed or anything like that i was like oh okay and i only took a dab of this and there's so much in the jar that i only used what was on here and this is all that comes in the jar this has arnica in it or arnica in it and centella asiat asiatica both of which are uh, anti-inflammatory plants and herbs so this worked really well on my hormonal breakout and they also sent me some banished serum it's a dark spot corrector with vitamin c and e y'all know i love anything that's going to help treat my hyperpigmentation again with these acne scars they faded really really quickly just from using this i really appreciate them sending me this i did enjoy these two products so much the other product I've been using that's already been in my stash, but this is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Essence. And the essence is a little bit more watery than a toner. It's something that you put on before you put on your serums or anything like that. So after you tone, you wash your face, you put your toner on, and while your skin is still damp, you use an essence. The essence has a little bit of a watery texture, but this just helps prepare my skin for my serums, and it helps the serums to absorb so so much better like they're not just sitting on top of my face especially like my thicker retinol hyaluronic acid it just helps it to absorb them a lot more very inexpensive product good molecules is a great inexpensive brand I think I got this from Ulta for like 10 12 dollars it's a lot in here it lasts a really long time but this is a great boosting serum if you're looking for one that's not too expensive so I don't usually go up for eye creams but I have been using this revitalift serum from L'Oreal L. This is a Revitalift serum with hyaluronic acid and caffeine and it has these little cooling balls inside the inside the jar here. I have really bad allergies to the point where I wake up sometimes and my under eye is very puffy and I'm rubbing ice on my eye or using a cold compress in the morning. I have not had nary a puffy eye since I started using this. And I was like, it has to be this because this is the only consistent thing I've been using under my eye. So I put it in the fridge because even though these balls are already cool when you pull it out and you rub it under your eye adding it in the fridge for a little more razzle dazzle and it's nice and cool especially in the morning my eye is nice and plump and hydrated and I was like what's going on here this is more of a serum than a cream so you can put this on with your skincare or before you for your makeup like I do this is great. I got it from Target and I was like, dang, L'Oreal, let me find out this little serum is better than any eye cream that I've used in a really long time. But really with the puffiness under my eyes, I have not had that in the morning since I started using this. I, I will tell you no lie, it is fantastic, only like $15. 
amazing. So I'm headed off to vacation soon and I'm always going to have a book poolside or at the beach. I pulled out one of my favorite books that I've had for years. This is a book by Ernessa T. Carter. It's called The Awesome Girl's Guide to Dating Extraordinary Men. I know, but before you roll your eyes, it's not a self-help book. It is a very funny and touching novel. And when I tell you it's funny, like these women are like cuckoo but they're younger coming of not younger but like late 20s early 30s coming of age balancing friendships dating career changes death all kind of things so it's just a nice easy fun read and this is a sequel to her first book which is called 32 candles so if you want to read 32 candles first and then read these because some of the characters kind of overlap but you can totally dive into this book without going back and reading the sequel it's just such a good girlfriend type of fun summer easy type of read if you're looking for a good novel i have it linked in my amazon store because it's truly one of my favorite books enough for me to read it over and over and i love to read when i go on vacation i literally zone out i don't i'm not on social media it's just me and a good book and this is the one that i'm taking with me for this particular trip so thanks so much for tuning into my June favorites. I think I had a nice variety this month. I've really been dipping into my stash, especially my skincare stash. My skincare is just being elevated and I love that so, so much. If you enjoyed this video and you made it this far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Of course, everything will be linked down below, including the book, including the products from the brand Banish that sent me as a gift. No obligation to post, but I just wanted to highlight some of the products from them that I've really been loving this month and I have actually been doing good work on my skin thanks again for tuning in you guys have a good rest of the month i'm going on vacation i'll be back soon but i'm going on vacation girl i'm, I'm finna enjoy myself take my book and all my bathing suits i'm coming back with a popping tan so i will see y'all later when i get back bye <laughs>